In this video, we will take a look how we can save After Effects projects. So after we imported all the media files in the last video, now it's time to save our After Effects project to one of our disks. To save a project in After Effects, you simply go to File and then you see you have these three different options to save. You are probably familiar with the first two because this is exactly the same as in all other software programs. But maybe I will take a little bit about the third options. But first of all, let's make sure that we save our project and therefore we go to Save As. And then simply navigate to your folder where you want to save your files type in your name in this case it's project 01 step number one so i will uh, write it like this with this underscore here and then i will create a new project by simply clicking save and now you see my after effects project has a name a path and is saved so let's take a quick look at the additional options that we have here if we go to the save as tab then we see we have the option to save a copy this is pretty self-explanatory you can save a copy of your project to another location then we have the option to save a copy as xml xml is a certain format how after effects will save the project and the format is like uh, more or less a text format. So the project parameters, everything you have inside this project will be saved as a text. And yeah, this can be a very complex text file, but it is actually a text file and you can open it up in an editor then. But this is very specific. You probably will never use this or need this in your life. The next option that we have here that's called save a copy as CC parentheses 13 means that you can save the project in an earlier version of After Effects. If we take a look here which version I am using, I am currently using After Effects CC 2017 and if you want to really know which version you are using, the number of the version, then you can go to help and you can go to about After Effects and then you see that I'm using version 14 uh, 00207. So let's simply click here to close this. So if I want to save a copy of my file for a previous version of After Effects, then I can do this here. And this is important because After Effects actually has no downward compatibility. If we save the project as we did before with the standard save function, we will not be able to open this project in an earlier version of After Effects. For example, if you want to give it away to somebody who works with after Effects CS6 or with After Effects CC version 12 or 13, he will not be able to open it up. So you have this option here to always save a copy in the previous version of After Effects. If you are working with After Effects version 13, then you will be able to save a copy for CC version 12 and so on. So you can always save a copy for the previous version of After Effects. And as I said, this is important because there is no downward compatibility and by saving a copy, we can increase this downward compatibility a bit. So if I choose this now, save a copy as CC, and again, I go to my project folder where I want to save this, you see that After Effects will now create this new name for me. And it is exactly the same name that I specified when we first saved the project. Then it adds copy and then it will add the version of After Effects that will be compatible with this project. And now I can click save and then I have saved another version that is compatible with an earlier version of After Effects. I want to mention at this point that After Effects actually has an upward compatibility. So if you create a project with, let's say, After Effects CS6 or CS5, then you can always open these up with higher versions or later versions of After Effects. So there is no downward compatibility, but there is actually an upward compatibility for After Effects projects. So let's take a quick look at the third option here, and this is called increment and save. Increment and save can be quite useful. And if we click this, you see now After Effects immediately saved a new version of our project. And if you take a look right here, now we are actually using another project. We do not use the project that I created anymore because I named this project 01 underscore 01, and now I am uh, working in underscore 02. So if I go to my save as dialog just to open up my folder and take a look what happened, you see that now After Effects actually created a new project and I'm now working in this new project. And I can do this as often as I want. So each time you click increment and save, After Effects will simply create a new version of this project. 
And this can be handy if you are working on a project and you say, okay, now on this point, I know that I want to try something completely different, but I want to be able to come back to this state at any time. Then you can use this increment and save project because then you know, okay, I, I saved this current status in a separate project and now every change that I make is actually saved in a new project file. So increment and save can be very helpful, but if you use it very often, then it can get a little bit complicated and confusing because many After Effects projects will be created. So let's make sure as a last step in this lection that we go to file, that you go to save as, specify a folder a location where you want to save your After Effects project, name your project, however you want to name it. I will just select the name that I chose it first and I will click save. Now it asks me to, to uh, override it and I will choose yes. And now I know, okay, I'm back. Project 0101, everything is saved. Now we are good to continue working on our project.